So you're looking to learn how to program your Fire Stick remote control to a television, subwoofer, receiver, PlayStation, Xbox, all of the above. Well, in today's video, I am going to show you how to do just that. So let's get started. Hello everyone and welcome back to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. And on today's video, I am going to show you how to program your Fire Stick remote control to work with pretty much any television in your house, whether it's one that you move to an another room or you got a brand new TV, to a subwoofer receiver and all of the above. For those of you that are having issues with your Fire Stick remote not working, or if you do program it and after a couple of days or a couple hours it stops working the volume and the power button and the mute button for whatever device you have it programmed to you want to check out the, the the link on this description okay and the video that you're looking for is called fixing your fire stick remote okay check out that link i have it on the description it'll take you right to that video and it'll focus just on fixing and troubleshooting your fire stick remote this one is going to be how to program it to these different devices so let's get started first thing i want everybody to do is to please hit the home button so you're in the home screen and you're going to work your way to the right to settings right here once you're over settings you're going to go down twice and it's going to put you over equipment control right here click on that and once you click on that you're going to go down and click on manage equipment now here if we're just going to be programming the TV, which most of you are, you're gonna to go to TV and click on that, which we'll do that in just a moment. But if you're already in the business of programming the remote control to work with a subwoofer, a soundbar, or anything else, you're gonna click on add equipment, which is what I'm gonna do right now. So just bear along, I just wanna show you guys. So, and you have all these different options. I'm not gonna be doing that today, but you can choose this and you're going to follow these same steps I'm about to show you on programming a television. So I'm gonna hit the back button real quick and I'm gonna click on TV. And basically, if you click on any of those other devices that I just showed you, this is what it's gonna show you. So you're gonna click on TV, and in this case, you're gonna to go to the very bottom and you're gonna click on Change TV. When you do, it's gonna give you this, uh, this pop-up right here. It's gonna say Gui Guided Setup will take five to 10 minutes. That is nowhere near what how long it's going to take it's actually going to it should take within 30 seconds you guys should be done maybe a minute depending on what your situation is in your home but nowhere five to minutes i think that's a big big number to put on there but anyway you're going to click on change tv and when you click on change tv it's going to do one of these it's going to please wait while we prepare your remote for setup what it's doing right now it is locating the type of tv that the fire stick is plugged into now me personally, I happen to be connected to a soundbar right now. So that's the reason that it didn't find my TV from the very beginning. If it were been connected to my television, it would have came back, uh, we found that you have connected this to a Sony TV. Or in your case, you may have a Samsung TV or a Vizio or whatever else. But it should locate the brand and you just want to confirm that it is the correct brand that it located. Once it does, you hit yes and it will give you a... a a system of tests where it will start playing music and basically I'll show you right now like this is a visual soundbar again I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because I don't want it to get super loud for this video but basically it's gonna tell you one of these either you turn off and turn on the remote or it'll give you another test where say we're gonna be playing some music and within a few seconds you try to move the volume up and down to see if it works and then it'll ask you once you hit the button It'll ask you, did it work, pretty much? And you either say yes or no. If you say no because it didn't work, it'll look for a different frequency so it can actually connect to the device that you're trying to connect it to. And after that, it might ask you this question where you hit the power button to turn it off and then you hit the power button to turn back on. When it turns back on, it'll ask you, did it work, yes or no? You hit yes or no. If it's no, it'll keep going through the settings until you finally find the right frequency. Most of the time, it does it on the first most I've seen is like the second try, but most of the time it's on the first try. You should get it. And once you do, you hit yes. It'll say uh, that your remote control has been programmed successfully in that it's all there is, guys. There's not much to this. I'm not going to do it to mine because I already have it programmed. And again, I don't want to mess up this video while doing it. So that's it. That's how you program your Fire Stick remote control. If you guys have any questions or any issues, leave it in the comment below. Please, please, please do me the favor of liking this video, 
subscribing and ringing that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. You are watching DFN TV, and until the next video, happy streaming.